my friends, right now you're watching Cool Cobras and it's your girl Melina and for today's video we are doing a review of Mini Bake Shop. Yay! Let's take a good look of it. Um, it has like these kawaii sweet treats on top. It comes with a full-fledged book. Like you can make like pie, you can make cakes, cupcakes. Thank you Uncle Jason for giving me this as a gift. So let's get on to the unboxing. Okay, we can open it up. Oh wow, this is a lot of stuff. I was not expecting this much stuff. Three, six molds of for cake, two molds for pie, so many different colors of clay. We have brown, white, purple, pink, different shade of brown, yellow, red, and green. We have like this tool right here to like cut and like make donut holes and a roller pin to like roll out your dough. Cupcake wraps. I don't know what these are called. Oh my gosh, these are so cute, you guys. Glitter and sprinkles. It looks like so realistic. And some glaze to make it shiny, and this is pretty much glue. Oh, wait, I think I see something at the bottom, too. Ooh, it did say that it came with 99 punch outs. That's pretty much 100. So many. Like, so cute. Okay, now let's get on to the I think I want to make a cake, a two-layered cake, which looks like this. I've been looking through the book, but like, if you see the mustache one, that's the one I want to really want to make, because that one's like so adored. Perfect. Right here, you have cake, and then I'm about to start off with some brown. We're going to get this light brown. Yeah. No, it's the dark one. Okay. Oh, wow. This is actually like... It feels like model magic. Wow. That's actually really nice. Okay. So we have to make a circle. So we're going to have to make it like this big, but then like this much ex much expand. So like, we're going to have to get some of the dough, put that on the side, and roll it into like the amount that they said that we're supposed to roll it into. I would say that's perfect. So now we're just gonna be using our rolling tool and rolling this out. Let's move this. We're rolling this out so it can be like the same circle in the book. All right, it's pretty much done. It looks very nice. Put it on the cake. So this is what they say. So once we finish rolling it out, um, you have to put it on your cake, right? In the center. And then like, put it on, as they say. Okay, what's next? We're going to get our second layer, which is our medium layer. I think this is the, yes, this is the medium layer. Let me just flatten this out really quick. One last good time. Okay, but I got the white clay very stretchy. And we're going to do the same thing to this mold. So we will be right back. We're done. It looks like a ginormous marshmallow. Yum. Okay, so we're going to do step number three. We're going to have to get some more white clay and make a triangle. Make it into a, like a cone shape to make it into like a nice cute suit. I might think this would be a little too much clay, so I might have to trim it. I'll be back when I'm done. Perfect, it's the perfect shape. Okay, so I'm just going to like shape the end of the triangle to make it professional. And then I'm gonna get the cake and just apply it on the bottom well to make it into the suit. Perfect. It looks so cute right now. Next we're going to get some more brown clay and then make it like 
you, he's wearing the shirt and then, then he's wearing the jacket over it. And just shape it. Okay. So now it's time to do the next side. Okay, everybody, we got the pearls and we're gonna add two of them onto the little jacket. Super cute. Okay, let's move on to the next step is the bow. Okay, the bow, we're gonna have to make it red. So our red clay and make a bow. And let's go to the page where it shows us how to make bows. First, we're gonna have to get a ball of red clay this big. And then make it this long. So. All right, you guys, I made the bow and it looks so adorbs. So I'm going to add it on. Let's put this on for now so it can look presentable. And now we're gonna make these little balls like around the cake and then we're gonna apply it onto my cake so I'm going to need this this will be easy okay I finished making all the balls around the um, top layer of the cake so next I think I should make the I know how to make the rose so I'm going to have to get some yellow clay for the rose, for a yellow rose. You have to make nine little balls. So we're going to need our glaze. So I'm just going to glaze the bottom right here. Just going to add a little bit. And then we're just going to add it. Oops, I'll put that back. We got the mustache, cheeks, and where are the eyes? First, I'm gonna apply the eyes. Perfect. Next, we're gonna add the cheeks. So next, I'm just going to put some glaze patches where the cheeks are going to be. So. The cheeks can stay on. Next, just gonna get some cheeks that are like literally everywhere. All right, everybody, it turned out so adorbs. Doesn't really look as professional as I was expecting it to look. It still looks really cute. So cute, you guys. Here's the final product. I hope you liked today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe to our notification bells and give us a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.